Okay, let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. So we're going to be defining some things about the um, <coughs> about the function uh, before we get into the actual graphs. So for the real zero of f, what they're talking about is any number r where f of r is equal to zero. So if you plug that number in r, that number r into the function and you get zero, that's called a real zero. So if that r is a real zero of f, uh, then the following uh, are implied. So the first one is that r is an x-intercept of f, and then the second one that's implied is x minus r is a factor. So if they tell you that r is a zero, then they're also meaning these two things. Uh, so anytime they say one of these three, the other two are automatically implied. So you do get a lot of information kind of all at once just by saying one statement. Okay, now the second thing uh, to define is the multiplicity. And this occurs just when a factor is repeated. <clears throat> so we'll get into that in just, uh, just a minute. Um, so first, let's form a polynomial whose zeros and degree uh, are given. Okay, so we've got zeros three and eight with a degree of two. So your polynomial be like f of x is equal to, and to go from the zero back to the polynomial, you're basically just switching the sign. So x minus three times x minus eight, and then if we check, uh, this is going to have a degree of 2, so you don't need to put an exponent on it. Uh, and that exponent uh, just implies that it, that factor has been repeated, uh, which is that multiplicity that we're talking about. Uh, so that's how you know if it's got a multiplicity or not. If there's an exponent other than 1, um, then you have a multiplicity of something. Okay, so part B, uh, let's do the same type of thing. So f of x equals uh, for the negative 5 we'll switch the sign so it's an x plus 5 uh, the 7 that would be an x minus 7 and when you have a 0 of 0 <laughs> that just means you have an x all by itself like you could go x minus 0 but x minus 0 is just x uh, and then you can just stick that out in the front technically it doesn't matter like what order you put these factors into uh, so if you wanted the x in the back, in the middle, have the x minus 7 all the way in the front, uh, that's up to you. <clears throat> okay, and then if you check this one, this one does have a degree of 3. All right, so this last one, 0 is a negative 9 and a negative 4. So that's going to be an x plus 9 and an x plus 4, but it has a degree of 5. So these are the only two zeros. So we're gonna have to put some exponents on these guys uh, to make sure that we have the right degree. So let's put an exponent of two here and an exponent of three. So that gives me a degree five. But that's not the only option. If I wanted to, I could switch the exponents around because it didn't tell me like what you know multiplicity went with each zero. So that means you get to decide. So if you wanted to write it with the 3 on the x plus 9 and the 2 on the x plus 4, you totally could. Uh, and there are some other options too. Just as long as the degree is 5 and you have the right zeros, then you have the answer correct. All right, uh, so now let's talk about what the multiplicity is going to do uh, to your x-intercepts because it does do something. So for even multiplicity, or when that exponent up there is an even number, what that's gonna do to it, it makes the curve uh, bounce off your x-intercept. So it's not gonna go through it uh, like a normal intercept, it's just gonna bounce it. And it just depends on what direction it's coming from. So if we worked our way from left to right, if it's coming up from the bottom like that, it's going to hit your intercept and then bounce right off. Or if it's coming down from the top, 
Let's say that's the intercept, but it's coming from up here. It's gonna come down, it's gonna bounce it, and go just like that. It's not a sharp point, like don't draw a V. It's not something like that. Uh, so don't do that. It's more, it's a para parabolic shape uh, when it hits the intercept. So just is gonna come in, hit it, and then come back down, or come down and hit it and go right back up, depending on which way the graph is going. Okay, so now the question is, well, what do you do if it's odd? So if it's odd, uh, it's not gonna go like straight on through it, it's not gonna bounce, it's gonna slide. through that X intercept. And again, it just kind of depends on the direction that it's coming from. So let's say here's your intercept. And if you're coming in from the bottom, it's gonna slide just like that. So it's almost like the graph kind of goes horizontal for a split second, and then it curves around the other way. So it's gonna, it can come in like this, uh, or if you're coming from the top, it'll come in like that. All right, uh, let's go ahead and talk about end behavior and then we'll pause and then get into some actual graphing. Okay, so end behavior, like you can know what the ends of the graph are doing just based on the degree. So if the degree is even, so 2, 4, 28, um, 316, both ends are uh, up or they're both down. And it's going to be one of the two. So the ends are going to go both up like this or both of them are gonna go down. And the, there's gonna be a curve that you'll have to fill in in between them. Uh, but then that's where the multiplicity comes in, how many intercepts, and so on and so forth. But you'll know what the behavior, the end behavior does just by looking at the degree. Uh, so if I go back to uh, like example 3a, degree two, I know its graph is gonna have both ends uh, going up and then I would just have to fill in the right intercepts and stuff. All right, so if it's an odd degree, one end is up and the other is down. So it could be up on the left side and down on the right or down on the left side and then going up on the right side. So again, just depends on uh, the degree. It'll also depend on the sign. So uh, let's get into that because I forgot. Uh, if it's a um, positive in front of the even degree, both ends are up. If it's a negative, both ends would be down. Uh, for the odd degree, if it's a positive all the way out in front, so like it's a positive way out in front of all of your factors, uh, the left side's down, the right side's up. And then if it's got a negative in front of everything, the left end is up and the right side is going down. <clears throat> Basically, like if it's got a negative, your graph should be, should end up going down uh, for the polynomials. So like negative means down. So that right side should be going down uh, if you've got a negative. And if it's positive, then that right side has to go up because positive means good job, you're going up. All right, let's go ahead and stop the video here and then we'll start graphing in the next one.